Right, John. Let's head to wherever Alex the Great is. Uh, John. I'd expect a heavily armed resistance from that s <laughs> Alex the Great. Because so far, he hasn't been friendly. Right. That <laughs> has been trying to kill you since you <laughs> got to Fontaine Futuristics and we've been here before, haven't we? Yeah, the unstable teleportation plasmid sent us here. Uh, why climb it here? Oh yeah, it might lead to something. Let's see. Ah, an Adam slug. Yeah, it does. So now, John, can we uh, find this uh, hidden plasmid lab? As I recall from my time doing business with the owners, that oxyfill station out there is just a front for a kind of hidden passage leading down below. If Lamb's hiding Eleanor from you, that's where she'll be. Well, there's not a lot we can do about it now. All we can do is pay Alex the Great a visit. Looks like that <laughs> Alex the Great didn't pay the <laughs> electric bill. I'm afraid the lights in here sting my eyes terribly now. Until you arrive to deal with me, they will remain off. Please, locate the breakers and flip them, and then return here to restore power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, John, I see you're setting some traps.
Dr. Alexander has agreed to accept both measures of the new Utopian project. He will become a kind of genetic chimera, host to all the minds of Rapture, accessing their talents and memories via the Adam we have gathered. And deriving in part from Project WYK, I have developed a new set of behavioral constraints. Dr. Alexander will live to promote the common good. His love and loyalty shall be spread evenly across the entire human race. For me, that is discipline at great personal cost. For him, at last, it will be instinct. You delude yourself, Dr. Lamb. You follow your own agenda, satisfy your own curiosity, never thinking of the price, as it would destroy you. Sophia believes the perfect human altruist is just a formula waiting on us to solve for X. Intelligence and consciousness are not the same, she argued. Awareness of self naturally becomes obsession with it. So, if we could suppress my sense of self, but imbue me with the cognitive capacity to serve the common welfare, we could thereby generate the first utopian. And then, Sophia said, at long last, utopia would follow. Yep, she's a nut job with delusions of godhood. Intelligence and consciousness are linked. A is A. <sighs> she's turning slavery into a charity shop chain. Well, Andrew Ryan was right. She hates the visionary, or at the very least, those that think for themselves. <laughs> 